In this video we're going to go through downloading the YouTube Create application and use, using it. So if I type into Google YouTube Create Now this is only available for Android at the moment. I should not imagine it will be long before it's available for iPhone as well. So it's just going through the install process. So if I go to open it. Sign in. So create an engaging video. I'm going to allow all, it's up to you. So I've got my photos there and I've got my videos. So if we go to this video of Limington and import Here you can see I can trim the, the video. You've got filters on there. Or I can tap on none, and then tap done. I can move the timeline with my finger. You've got the preview window there. At the top there, you've got the aspect ratio. So I'm on 16.9. And this is for shorts. That's a square window which you can use for shorts and put text at the top. So I'm going to go back to 16.9. So you've got filters, effects. So I should imagine YouTube are going to add more functionality to this app. More effects and stuff like that. So you can apply to all there. You've got, so if I, if I go along here and there should be a split there. So if I go along and add another split further on. And then you've got speed. I can speed it up. You can see the video clip shortened there. You've also got transitions. So you can see different colour variations in the different types of I, I, I prefer a nice smooth transition. So if I tap on that, you've got stickers. So you can add your subscribe buttons. Voiceover, allow while using the app. Hello, hello, hello. And then done. And you can see on the timeline, the voiceover, you've got captions. This is a useful, useful function. Sound from videos. Language required. English, United Kingdom. Great. Hello, hello, hello. I've got a mic hooked up, so it's probably not picking it up due to that. So. Can bear with it, bear with it a moment. I'll speed this up. Hello, hello, hello. 
So it looks like it's generated captions from there. I can delete it. There's another option for aspect ratio. Can add more clips. Can go to my different folders. I can swipe down with my finger. I can get rid of the YouTube subscribe there by clicking on delete. I can add overlays. I can move the overlay around with my finger. I can animate it. I can duplicate it. So we've got two there. So I can adjust it, the brightness, contrast, the saturation. This is just a quick overview. The, my personal opinion is the application looks a bit clunky, but I think it's early stages. I think they are going to redevelop it and make it better to for, for new users to YouTube to, to generate videos off the cuff on their mobile phones or on their tablet devices like I'm using now and it should be easier to use and look better in the future. I think it's a big clap praise for YouTube for coming out with this. The functionality in CapCut is becoming more pro version so everyone might go down this route of using YouTube Creator. Thanks for watching this quick overview and please like and subscribe and watch the next video, suggested video for you at the end.